The President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Without further ado, we would like to hand over to the la councils for Mr. Montier to put some questions to the witness, should they wish. Interroger le témoin, si elle le souhaite. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Good afternoon, Coupé. Your Honours. Merci. Bon après-midi. Good afternoon, Mesdames Council. Les juges. Good afternoon, Mr. Chers Witness. Confrères, Monsieur le témoin. I am the international lawyer Je suis l'avocat international de and I have some questions for you. Et j'ai quelques questions à vous poser. Before the lunch break, Mr. Avant Witness, la pause déjeuner, the prosecutor, the gentleman who was asking questions to you, le procureur was reading to you an excerpt Il vous from a lu un your statement de votre uh, about things that wives of Lon Nol soldiers told you in the period of the evacuation of Phnom Penh. Lon Nol vous ont dit à Do you remember de Phnom that this passage was read to you? Vous souvenez -vous vous a lu ce passage? At that time, I managed those uh, new evacuees. À l'époque, je me suis chargé de ces nouveaux évacués. And they were placed into the On les a installés dans des coopératives. And I learned of the fact uh, through them. Et j'ai été informé des événements par ces personnes. Des gens m'ont dit que leur mari avait été retiré par l'encar. C'était tout ce que je savais sur l'encar. Je leur ai demandé de s'installer dans les coopératives en leur disant que nous nous mettrions à la recherche de leur mari. Voilà ce que j'ai appris. Mr. Witness, do you Question. remember what exactly the wives of these vous soldiers -vous were saying to you? Ce que vous ont dit exactement les épouses de ces soldats. They told me about their children. Réponse. Elles m'ont parlé de leurs the enfants. Husbands, uh, came with them, but halfway elles through, ont dit they que leur mari les avait accompagnés, mais qu'à mi-route, elles avaient perdu ses maris. So they actually uh, talked about their family members, and then I put them into the cooperatives. Elles ont donc parlé de leurs familles. Après quoi, j'ai installé but ces I femmes dans les coopératives, mais je ne sais pas combien elles étaient exactement. Do you remember Question. who these women were that told vous you this? Vous souvenez-vous qui étaient les femmes qui vous ont relaté cela? I only knew that uh, they came from Phnom Penh. Je savais juste qu'elles venaient de Phnom Penh, mais je ne me souviens pas des autres détails. But other than that they were coming from Phnom Penh, did you know who they were? Did you know their names? Who they were? Did you know their names? Est-ce que vous saviez qui étaient ces femmes? Saviez-vous comment elles s'appelaient, par exemple? No, I Réponse. did not. Non. And I cannot recall the names. Je ne me souviens pas de leur nom. 
Do you remember any names of vous souvenez -vous the husbands that these wives were speaking about? Du nom de certains des époux dont parlaient ces femmes. Vous souvenez-vous du nom de certains de ces soldats? No, Réponse. I cannot recall it. Non, je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Do you remember when exactly it was that you spoke to these women? Quand exactement avez-vous parlé avec ces femmes Quel mois était-ce Combien de jours après la libération de Phnom Penh était-ce Est-ce que vous vous en souvenez il y a eu une réunion dans la commune de Popel, j'ai oublié la date de cette réunion. Celle-ci visait à accueillir les évacués. Nous avons donc rassemblé de la nourriture, des nouilles Nous nous avons demandé à ces gens comment ils allaient. Nous avons été amicaux avec eux. Ils étaient nombreux. Je ne me souviens donc pas de leur nom. Nous avons organisé la coopérative après quoi nous avons installé ces gens là-bas en leur demandant de s'installer dans une maison dont le toit était fait de feuilles so de, de palmiers. J'ai donc rencontré really beaucoup de ces gens, mais je ne me souviens d'aucun nom. Question. Have you ever seen in your, your capacity, your official capacity, dans le cadre de vos fonctions officielles, avez-vous jamais eu sous les yeux une liste de noms de soldats ou d'autres documents portant ces noms et confirmant ainsi le récit que vous avez fait ces femmes Réponse. No, non. Question. You testified earlier this morning, Ce Mr. Matin, Witness, that um, you were not personally involved vous avez dit in respect to whatever was happening ne pas to lone old soldiers. Intervenu personnellement concernant but nevertheless, you said yes to the question of the prosecutor that enemy officers Lorsque la question vous a demandé si les officiers ennemis avaient été purgés sur ordre de l'Ankar. Voici donc ma question. Comment savez-vous que ces officiers ennemis ont effectivement été l'objet d'une purge Qui vous l'a dit en avez-vous été témoin peut-être Pourriez-vous nous expliquer Réponse. Je n'en ai pas été témoin personnellement. Je n'y ai pas participé. J'en ai simplement entendu parler. C'était une rumeur qui circulait. Les gens se passaient l'information en chuchotant. C'est de cette manière que j'ai en ai entendu parler. Cela ne m'a pas été annoncé 
de manière publique ou ouverte, si l'on parlait de façon ouverte, on pouvait se faire emmener également. Le témoin continue. C'est tout ce que je voulais vous dire. Let me, Question. If you allow me, Mr. Witness, go back to one sentence, Revenons or in fact two sentences à deux phrases from the answer which was quoted de la réponse from the statement this morning. du PV d'audition qui a été cité ce matin. Dans ce document, à l'ORN 0038-0135, vous avez dit ce que vous dites. Les militaires ont emmené des gens. Cela veut dire que ces gens ont disparu. Et la plupart de ces gens sont devenus des femmes. La plupart de ces femmes sont devenues des femmes. Fin de citation. Comment saviez-vous que ces militaires ont disparu, puis ont été exécutés Réponse. Je uh, je n'en ai pas été témoin personnellement. J'ai seulement accueilli les familles des soldats. Mais il faut se demander ce qui est arrivé au mari. Il faut se demander où ils sont allés. C'est une question Questions et réponses sont prononcées simultanément, ce qui fait que les interprètes n'ont rien entendu. Le président, témoin, veuillez attendre que le micro soit allumé. Maître, veuillez relever quelque peu le micro du témoin. Quant à la défense, vous avez posé la question. The question I should have asked you, do you know what happened to these militaries? So I would be grateful if you could answer this question. Do you know what happened to them? Do you know Regarding the fate of those soldiers, I did not know. Je ne sais pas ce qui est arrivé à ces soldats. So when these women were telling you this, quand ces femmes vous ont raconté cela, in your memory, it was still a rumor. D'après vos souvenirs, c'était une rumeur. Est-ce que bien plus tard, un an plus tard, peut-être, voire deux ans, est-ce que vous avez reparlé à ces femmes ce qui vous aurait permis d'apprendre si ces hommes étaient toujours portés disparus Réponse. Non. Because several months after that, I was relocated to another place. So, Mr. Witness, please correct me if I'm wrong. But if I would like, if I summarize what you have been saying, it is that it was a rumor. Conveyed to you by the women that the Lonol soldiers were missing. Rumor, selon quoi? Is that correct? Just a rumor. The soldiers of Lonol had disappeared. It was a simple rumor. Is that exact? Um, 
bắt luôn cái trăm trâu mày Yes, uh, regarding the disappearance, uh, that is correct. Effectivement, concernant la disparition, c'est exact. Mr. Witness, have you ever yourself Question. been involved Vous -même in executions, avez -vous jamais participé killing à des of enemies, be it internal or external? Qu'il s'agisse d'ennemis internes ou externes. President, uh, duty council, le Président, le Président, la parole est à l'avocat du témoin. Duty council, l'avocat du témoin. Monsieur le Président, cette question, question witness, présente pour le témoin un risque d'auto-incrimination. Le Président, you need vous ne pouvez pas répondre à la place du témoin. Vous devez le consulter. Counsel. Vous n'êtes pas avocat de la défense. President, you may need to ask your client Vous if he wishes to consult with you regarding this question. s'il souhaite vous consulter au sujet de cette question. Witness, I Le decline to respond to this question. Je n'entends pas répondre à cette question. And President. Uh, Defense Council, le please uh, move on, or you may need to refresh la your question so that the witness Vous can respond. Reformuler la question pour que le témoin puisse y répondre. Have Ou alors, Mr. Autre chose. Have you ever seen la défense, je vais reformuler, Monsieur le témoin. Avez-vous jamais été témoin d'exécution d'ennemis de l'intérieur ou de l'extérieur? No, I did not uh, witness any killing non, in a person. Je été témoin and my, the nature of my work, uh, I already explained that this morning to the chamber that is to resolve the situation regarding the living condition of the people. De m'occuper des conditions de vie de la population. Mr. Witness, has anybody Question. ever told you before 17 April 75 or after 17 April 75 that he or she executed enemies jamais dit avoir exécuté des ennemis of the DK regime? Du régime du Kampuchea démocratique? No. Réponse. Non. Question. Mr. Witness, earlier this morning, you were asked a question matin, about confessions on vous a interrogé au sujet des and about the red ink uh, from the notes on the confessions. Rouge. 
utilisé pour annoncer ces confessions. Vous avez aussi dit que ce ne sont pas des aveux de soldats de l'homme n'étaient pas des aveux de soldats de l'homme mais plutôt des aveux de civils. Est-ce exact Yes, that is the case. Effectivement. Do you remember if there was any specific significance to the use of red ink? L'emploi d'encre rouge avait-elle une signification particulière? Réponse. No, it did not mean that way. Cela ne voulait rien dire. Usual, uh, Cela était habituel. Would it be fair to say Question. that you, you were using red ink just because you had a red pencil vous or pen? Vous donc de l'encre rouge simplement parce que vous aviez un stylo rouge? If I use a red ink pen, everybody could also use a red ink pen. A red ink pen did not mean that somebody would be punished. It did not mean that way. So, question. Just to be to be sure, nobody told you. You have to use a red ink. In certain circumstances, is that correct? Un stylo rouge dans certaines circonstances. Est-ce exact? No, nobody told me that. Effectivement, personne ne m'a rien dit de tel. Do you still remember? Question. I realize it's a long time ago, but je sais que cela remonte à longtemps. What the confessions of these civilians were about? Mais what vous souvenez-vous du contenu des aveux des civils? Two. Do you remember? Quelle faute ces civils ont-ils avoué? Vous en souvenez-vous? It was a minor issue. Il s'agissait de faute mineure. For example, for the buying and selling of chicken eggs. Par exemple, l'achat et la vente de poules. Ces gens ont été arrêtés à Takeo et à Takeo. Ces gens ont été arrêtés à Takeo et à Takeo. Et j'ai demandé que ces gens soient remis en liberté. Ces gens étaient des de canards et de cochons. Ils ont été arrêtés par la milice. J'ai demandé leur mise en liberté. Ensuite, Combe a accepté et le comité de secteur aussi. Par la suite, ces gens ont donc été remis en liberté. Mr. Witness, would it be fair to say that these confessions from civilians that you were reading were mainly concerned with very small and minor offenses of these people? Portaient surtout sur des infractions mineures. Est-ce exact? Réponse. It is my understanding that they were minor mistakes, and there were nothing serious about it. C'était de petites fautes sans aucune gravité. This morning, Mr. Witness, you were asked a question about internal enemies and external enemies. Would you be able to explain us one more time what, in your memory, the external enemies were? Who were they? Qui étaient, d'après vos souvenirs, les ennemis de l'extérieur? Réponse. External enemy refers to those enemy situated outside the liberated zones. Situé à l'extérieur des zones libérées. 
C'est ce que j'ai dit ce matin. And, uh, zones at the time were à l'époque, les zones province. libérées se trouvaient autour de la province de Takeo. And so those people from Takeo were Ces close, gens de Takeo the one who, the out, who were the outsiders étaient and considérés the Taka comme des gens extérieurs. The de même, we sur le Takeo, not within nous their territory. les gens de l'extérieur parce que nous n'étions pas situés and sur leur morning, territoire. Ce matin, j'en ai parlé, j'ai aussi parlé des contradictions de classe. In Takeo, not everybody was uh, an enemy. Some tous n'étaient pas des ennemis. Well. Il y avait là aussi des amis. As they took side with the revolution. Car cela ont choisi le camp de la révolution. So, in order to analyze the actual details of who the enemy Pour was we actually had to look at the activities in details il fallait and it is a very complicated issue to les do activités so. des uns et des autres ce qui n'était pas simple du tout and if we were to do it raw then it would be a danger en cas d'erreur cela aurait créé certains risques ah, Mr. Menes, it... It is, it is correct that you said this morning that in your memory, matin, external enemies, enemies refers to uh, enemies outside of the district. Ceux qui étaient situés à l'extérieur du district. But would you be able to remember, Certes. or would you know, that if the Mais revolutionary flag was speaking about external enemies. Savez-vous si l'étendard révolutionnaire Who parlait des ennemis de l'extérieur? They were referring to. Et le cas the of de qui s'agissait-il? An article about external enemies. Il y a Who un article was he referring to? Do sur you know? les ennemis de l'extérieur. À quelle personne l'auteur de cet article faisait-il référence? Est-ce que vous le savez? Response. Response. I'm afraid I don't remember Je ne m'en souviens pas. It happened a very long time ago. C'était il y a très longtemps. I don't remember it. Mais je ne m'en souviens plus. Maybe Mr. Witness, if I ask it in a different manner, you you'll be able to remember. Peut-être monsieur le témoin serait-il en mesure de vous en souvenir si je pose la question différemment. Who was the external enemy of the qui Democratic Kampuchea regime in the period 75-79? Régime du Kampuchea démocratique dans la période allant de 1975 à Pouvez-vous répéter la question? Let me help you a little bit, Mr. Witness. Question. Which country do you think? No, no. Do you think which country did the revolutionary flag refer to when, they, when it spoke about external enemies? Le révolutionnaire faisait-il référence lorsqu'il parlait des ennemis de l'extérieur? Response. Réponse. Yes, uh, outsiders oui. here refer to Ici, people abroad and insiders refer to those who were inside Les ennemis de l'extérieur, c'était à l'étranger et les ennemis de l'intérieur, c'était à l'intérieur du Cambodge. And which people, Mr. Question. Witness, abroad le were the external enemy Qui, according to the revolutionary flag? étaient les ennemis de l'extérieur selon l'étendard révolutionnaire.
response. Répond. I cannot answer this question. Je ne peux répondre à votre question. Let me help you a little bit, Mr. Witness. Maître Copé, Do you remember if the word external enemy si was ever used le mot ennemi together with Vietnam? Était employé en même temps que le mot Vietnam. Mean. Réponse. Response. Yes, I'm oui. familiar with this. Uh, oui, ça je m'en souviens. Uh, Vietnam would be um, relevant Vietnam. to the term outsiders. Dire le terme de l'extérieur pourrait faire référence. Now, do you remember, Mr. Witness, if in this confession, vous souvenez-vous, from dans the civilians, les aveux, they were ever referring to Vietnam? On faisait référence au Vietnam. Were they saying that they working, were working together with Vietnam? Disaient-ils travailler avec le Vietnam? Ou pour le compte du Vietnam? Response. Réponse. No. No. So you never read Question. the word Vietnam or the threat of Vietnam, le mot, uh, Vietnam in one of these confessions. Ou la menace Is that correct? Vietnamienne dans ses aveux. Est-ce exact? Mr. Witness, I, I, I see you're not responding. Le My question was, conseil. did Je you ever vous read in these confessions of civilians si dans ces aveux de civils, that they were working with, with Vietnam, or that they were pour le Vietnam, conspiring together with Vietnam, ou or was it only Vietnam, speaking about minor offenses? Ou était-ce simplement des délits mineurs? Mm -hmm. you... Response. They were talking about something else. Il parlait d'autre chose. Not about Vietnam. Pas du Vietnam. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I will move on. Maître Coppe. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Je In one of your statements, dans une de vos déclarations, several statements, as a matter of fact, you're using the words education and re-education. Re would you be able to explain what you mean with the word education and what you mean with the word re-education? Re Response. The term uh, education and learning Le are used interchangeably, but re-education means re a person should be refashioned or re-educated. So if he or she could not be re-educated, then he or she would be given another opportunity si to be re-educated re until he or she was refashioned. But is it correct when I say that before somebody in those days was re-educated, he first was educated? Response. Response. Yes, uh, people would be taken to the study sessions oui. where they would be educated. And in, that, in those sessions, uh, people would Lors be educated on how to do good things, right things. La façon de faire les choses correctement. 
And if they were not learning well during these education Question. sessions, were they then re-educated? N'apprenaient pas bien. Étaient-ils rééduqués par la suite? Response. Yes, they were. Oui. If they could not uh, be educated, then they si could be re-educated. Les éduquer, on pouvait les réeduquer. And what does re-education mean? Question. Et que what would happen during these re-education sessions? Que se passait-il pendant ces séances de réeducation? Le savez-vous? Response. Réponse. Re-education refers to the sessions where people would be educated uh, to do right things physically oh. and mentally, and that uh, if they had committed any wrongdoings, uh, then they would be advised or educated to stop doing et those et things si chose and be the mal. right person. On leur disait qu'il fallait qu'ils arrêtent de se comporter de cette façon et And when the re was finished, une bonne personne. When they were successful in learning Question. whatever they had to learn during these re -education re -education sessions, do you know what happened afterwards to these people? Savez-vous ce qu'il arrivait à ces gens par la suite? Response. If a person was successfully re-educated, he or she would then be reintegrated into the society si where he could then succès, be assigned some normal tasks. Si une personne était rééduquée avec succès, elle pouvait réintégrer la société et recevoir des tâches. And Mr. Witness, do you know? Question. Whether this et was the case for everybody? Savez-vous si everybody who was successfully re-educated? Could go back si to the place that he or she was coming from. Si tous ceux qui avaient été rentrer là cette venait. Response. No, it didn't apply to everyone non, because not everyone was successfully re-educated. Uh, some could not be re-educated, but then had to be re-educated again. Uh, re but, but do you know, Mr. Witness, if there was a special distinction between former non-normal military who were re-educated or normal civilians who were re-educated ou les civils qui étaient rééduqués Response. Things were not the same, in particular when it comes to the civilians and soldiers and how they were treated. Could you explain us what the difference was and how you know what the difference was? Response. Réponse. I cannot respond to this question. Can Mr. Je President allow my duty counsel to assist me? Question. Est-ce que le président peut demander à mon the avocat de m'aider? 
Mr. Witness, your counsel can only help you, but not with your response, but with some idea of how to respond to not incriminate yourself in such responses. But it is you who are here to testify based on your memories and uh, experiences. So uh, you say you don't remember things. If you don't, si then you just say so. And this question is uh, just a normal question, question and you are now instructed to respond to it. The President, Council Kope, you may um, repeat this question because the witness appears to have forgotten it. Mr. Witness, do you know, do you remember if there was a difference between the re-education of la former normal military and the re-education of la uh, uh, normal civilians. Civil Response. I knew something about the re-education of civilians. I had no knowledge of how soldiers would be re-educated, but I believe uh, they too would uh, be um, brought to some educational sessions where they could be educated. And some disappeared. If they disappeared, they disappeared. I don't know how to respond to this, because so long as they never return, I could tell that they disappeared. And, uh, but more or less, in the re-education sessions, people will Mais have to help educate those who need to be re-educated, and then one needed to criticize one another for better. My, my question, Mr. Witness, was not about what you believe. My question is about what you know. Do you know what happened? to the military officials who were successfully re-educated. Response. I think sometimes I don't understand parts of your question. That's why I find it difficult to respond fully. Let me try it in other words, Mr. Witness. You have said that not only civilians, but also military officials were re-educated. And once the re-education was successful, they were sent, sent back to where they came from. Is that correct? Response. Those who were successfully re-educated were seen to have returned to where they belonged originally. Very well, Mr. Witness. Now, based on your knowledge, based on your experience of what happened in 1975, would it be possible that the military who you said disappeared were in fact only sent for re-education and returned to their homes. Um, the President, uh, Mr. Witness, could you please hold on and Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Uh, that calls for speculation and I object. 
cette question invite le témoin à faire de la spéculation et je dis au président. Mr. President, this is only a very small fragment of the speculation that the prosecutor is seeking from this particular witness. So allow me this a little speculation when it comes to this particular topic. It's an important topic. C'est un sujet important. And um, we should be able to discern exactly when this witness is speculating when he's not. Quand le témoin fait de la spéculation et enfin quand il suppose et quand il ne suppose pas. The President, uh, Judge Silvercatra, you may now have the floor. Thank you, President. Uh, the President has asked me to rule as follows. Uh, the question is speculative, and of course, Mr. Corpi, you have acknowledged that. Uh, if you wish to put a precise question to the witness, such as, did you personally uh, witness any non-non military uh, following re-education who were sent home, then you might have a basis for putting the question. And you cannot overlook the fact that this morning the prosecutors were asking questions based on the um, statement prepared by the Office of Co-Investigation judges. So there is, uh, the, the 
that the uh, term speculative cannot Donc, be applied to such questions. Je ne peux pas dire que c'était de la spéculation ce matin. Thank you, Judge Cartwright. Maître Coppe, merci, Madame la Juge. Um, let me allow me, uh, Mr. President, to, to rephrase the question in another manner. Um, and I will do that as follows, Mr. Witness. Um, I am putting it to you that the military Je vous propose. people of whom the wives were speaking in 75 les were in fact re-educated re and all returned to their homes. Ils sont chez eux. Correct or not correct? Est exact ou non? Mr. President, I still object. In order to put the suggestion to a witness, there has to be some evidential foundation for the suggestion that's being put to the witness. Otherwise, we're back in speculation. You can't just say to a witness, I put it to you that this is a certain scenario, unless there's some evidential foundation. That's what speculation goes to. Mr. President, I'm doing exactly the same thing as this same prosecutor was doing with respect to the question of Kyuson Pan's wife. There's nothing wrong with putting something to a witness and then ask him to respond. Donc, uh, he could say, I don't know. He could say, say yes, he could say no. Oui, non, je ne sais pas. I'm not inviting him to speculate now. Je I'm putting something to him. Suppositions. Je lui suggère quelque chose. If he wants to establish four lies, as I did with Q. Sampon's wife, and put veut the matter, then it's evidentially based. But this is not based on evidence. It's based entirely on veut. speculation. And so I repeat the objection. Sur la base de mensonges, comme je l'avais fait avec l'épouse de Cusampan, il peut le faire, mais pas sur des informations qui ne sont que des pures suppositions. But, uh, uh, Council, you can now proceed to a new question, please. With pleasure, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, um, you have been speaking about a meeting at, uh, at the end of 75, a meeting during which New Chia has given education lessons. Is that correct? Do you remember saying that? Aurait fait des enseignements. Vous souvenez-vous d'avoir dit cela? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is correct. Oui, c'est exact. And I rem do remember having said that. Je me souviens. Now, could you explain to us how you knew then? Vous nous dire comment? It was new and chia. À l'époque. Speaking to you, did he introduce himself? Did he say his name? Did he say his name? Can you enlighten us on that? Veuillez nous expliquer. Response. Response. He was the head of that school, and I was an ordinary combatant who attended the session at the other participants. So he was the head of that school, and he was known to us. And the policy he introduced in the study sessions was very good, because it was meant to be uh, introduced to people, and they were good uh, education sessions, so I were convinced, uh, interested uh, by the sessions. 
J'ai trouvé ça très intéressant. Nous avons suivi ce que nous avons enseigné. Ma question, Maître Coppé, how did this person of whom you are saying it was new and cheer, how did he introduce himself? What did he say was his name? Comment s'est-il présenté? A-t-il dit comment il s'appelait? Response. Response. He never appeared before us introducing himself because il pas uh, during each uh, study session il he pas would just teach us and we regarded Pendant him as home uh, that nous the way we addressed on him on and home, and the way he was known. Grand -oncle, and again there was no time that he would introduce et himself et and his role. Question. But how did you know at the time it Comment? was New Anchia? Alors, avez-vous su qu'il s'agissait de New Anchia? I simply knew he was. Je savais que c'était lui. Now you also spoke about Pol Pot vous avez aussi addressing parlé de Pol Pot. the session vous avez dit que Pol Pot avait during which 800 people had gathered. Une session à laquelle 800 personnes avaient participé. Do you know now, or how did you know then, comment savez vous aujourd'hui et comment saviez-vous à l'époque que c'était quelqu'un du nom de Pol Pot qui parlait no, I did not uh, say that. Réponse. I confirm that. Je n'ai pas dit cela. Actually, I'm known, or uncle known, who actually taught uh, throughout the training session. Qui a animé and uh, toute there la was a session conducted prior to my session. Avant cela, il y avait eu une autre session. I don't, I don't have the transcript in front of Question. me of what was said this morning, Mr. Witness, but I do la recall cette matinée, you saying, you testifying, that also Pol Pot spoke que vous avez dit during que this Pol Pot aussi avait pris la parole au cours de cette réunion. Are you now withdrawing that? Est-ce que vous vous rétractez? No, I did not say Réponse. that this morning. Je n'ai pas dit ça ce matin. President, Le the prosecution. La parole est à l'accusation. You may proceed. Oh, it's only to, to help my learned friend because we did take a note this morning. Nous avons pris uh, and what the witness said was that there had been a prior session where Pol Pot had been involved. Une autre um, à laquelle avait participé uh, as the first session not the second one which Nguyen Chia was involved in. So we have the note, and the witness did not say that Pol Pot was involved in this session. It was the previous session. Very well, no, 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 no problem. Um, Mr. President, when you saw, Mr. Witness, Pol Pot at this session, um, how did you know it was Pol Pot speaking to the people who were listening? Le public. Réponse. I couldn't get your question. Je n'ai pas compris Counselor, votre question. Pourriez-vous la répéter? 
question. Have been speaking, Mr. Witness, this morning about matin, a meeting, an education meeting, during which Nunchia was present. And the prosecutor just helped me by saying that prior to that meeting, secours, there was a meeting in, during which Pol Pot was speaking. My question to you is how Voici donc ma did you know? That it was in fact Pol Pot who was speaking. Pol Pot qui Allow me to clarify that uh, my study session was uh, conducted by La Uncle Noon. He was the second person. And that was the second session. And there was a session prior to session. my session. Avant cette session -là, il y en avait eu so, une autre. it was likely that in the prior session, Au cours de la session précédente, And I just like to to say that in the first session it was La première, Pol Pot donc, because it was for the top people Pol Pot. because in the first uh, training session only those uh, sector and zone secretaries attended Car the study session. Cette première formation était destinée aux secrétaires de well, zone et de secteur. My question is how you knew question. at that time. À it was Pol Pot who was speaking to this Pot qui top cadres. Cadre. No, I did not know. Réponse. Je n'en savais rien. Thank can you Question. explain to us how you knew that Nguyen Chia or Uncle Nguyen was in fact the number two of the Khmer Rouge? Did you hear that there? How did that come to you? Comment avez-vous appris cela? I learned about it uh, through my study sessions and through the exchange of a work and through other people. Dans le cadre du travail également, they talk about the position of this uh, uncle or that uncle. Du poste occupé par tel oncle ou tel autre oncle. As you may know, the water would seep down from the top of the mountain savez, to the base of the mountain and uh, that kind of a flow of water cannot be stopped. Vers le bas. So we all know about the position of those ankles. Le courant de l'eau. Donc nous étions au courant des postes de l'eau. So I knew the names of those ankles. And that is the fact. C'est un fait. We were talking about December 1975. Question. Nous parlons de décembre 1975. Are you sure that you heard then that Uncle Nguyen was number two? Entendu, entendu dire à l'époque que l'oncle Nguyen était le numéro deux. Isn't it true, Mr. Witness, that the whole country didn't know about Pol Pot Nguyen Chia or about Pol Pot until somewhere? En fait, in 1977. C'est seulement fin 77, n'est-ce pas, que le pays tout entier a appris l'identité de Pol Pot. Nobody knew about uh, the true natures of those people Personne prior to the liberation. We only knew of the party and Anka. But genre, after the war ended, we knew the real people behind those names. And especially when we came victoire, to engage in the study sessions, we learned about it. En particulier, 
en assistant à des sessions de nous l'avons appris ankle sur place. Second ankle, nous avons instance. appris, par exemple, qui était l'oncle numéro 1 et l'oncle numéro 2. And in fact, I did not ask anyone about uh, who the person was. Je n'ai demandé But of à course, personne when I started with him, I knew who he was. Mais quand j'ai étudié avec lui, j'ai su qui c'était. It is my understanding that when you ask for the method, just the arrangement of the seats, we would knew, we would know Rien who is the, the chairman of the president sièges, of that meeting. There is no need for the announcement of uh, the, the chairman Il of the meeting, for instance. Qui était le de la Réunion, par But Mr. Witness, I'm sure Question. you went home Cela dit, je suis sûr after these que vous êtes sessions. Rentré chez vous après ces sessions. Do you remember being excited vous souvenez vous telling avoir you knew that the number one was in fact Pol Pot and the rest of the country still didn't know that. Did you tell anybody that? Après avoir appris que le numéro un était Pol Pot, alors que le reste du pays n'était pas encore au courant. Est-ce que vous avez raconté okay. cela à quelqu'un? Réponse. No I was Cela n'a pas été annoncé. J'ai été participant à la deuxième session et j'ai étudié avec cet oncle. Peut-être que oui, qui sait, mais il se peut que vous vous trompiez quant à la date de la session de formation que la fin de 75. C'était peut-être fin 77 et non pas fin 75. Le président, witness, please observe the témoin, microphone first. veuillez attendre que le micro soit allumé. Witness. Le témoin. Allow me to correct it. It was not in 1975, but it was in late 1976, when I studied with him. Président, thank you, Mr. Witness, and Defense Counsel. We will have a 20-minute break now, and we shall return at 3 p.m. Court officer, could you assist the witness during the break and have him return to the courtroom at 3 p.m.? Likewise, it applies for the duty counsel. The court is in recess. Suspension de l'audience.